today we're gonna analyze the two greatest escapes in the history of squash. First, we go back to 2003. It's a Saturday night in New York City and the final of the Tournament of Champions. Peter Nickel is up two games to love and 12-11 in the third game. John White is desperately trying to keep this match alive. And when a straight drive sprays loose into the middle of the court, White is trapped in the back right. Peter has this rally all but won and sets in a quick backhand boast. White is nowhere near the ball, and as it's about to bounce twice in the front left, White leaps full length from the tee in what is quite possibly the greatest dive in the history of squash, and he gets the ball. Then crashing into the left wall, and now even in a worse position, White is facing an almost certain stroke against him. But miraculously, and even more impressive than the dive itself, White leaps to his feet and narrowly makes it back to the tee. And the official call on this was a yes let, which makes it one of the greatest escapes of all time. Now, 18 years later, it's the semifinals of the 2021 US Open. We're in Philadelphia and Diego Elias has reached 10-9 match ball in the fifth game against Mustafa Asal. He's one shot away from taking this match. Elias sets in a beautiful backhand drop kill that Assal just barely reaches, and in this massive lunge, Assal slips and for a brief moment is on the floor in a direct path between Elias and the ball. There's even a momentary hesitation where it looks like Elias will ask for the stroke, but he doesn't because Assal somehow completely clears the shot in an unbelievable 360 spin that forces Elias to play the ball and for the rally to continue. A few shots later, Asal hits a lucky forehand drive that catches the sidewall and sprays left, giving him the point, and two points later, the match, 12-10 in the fifth. Let's watch both escapes in real time, and you decide in the comments who did it best. Oh. <laughs> Well, the crowd on their feet. <laughs> John White is not going to let this match go. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's it, it, oh my word! It's unbelievable. Has he got that, PJ? That was like a great dancer. And he's won the rally. I mean, that's just outrageous. Elias <laughs> well, could have actually gone for the stroke. Unbelievable. Honestly, the clearance there was beyond impressive. Where has he got that from? I don't know. So to work on getting back up on your feet with lightning speed, we're going to do just that. It's court sprints starting by laying flat on the ground. This exercise is a bit more fun and a bit more challenging than just regular court sprints, and it allows you to work on that explosiveness right from the ground up. So if you want to be the next player to make the greatest escape of all time on the squash court, this drill will help you get there. Even the great Ramit Khan, coach of the legendary Jahangir Khan, was a big proponent of this exercise, as you can see here, back in the 80s. And even our elite group and college players will have fun with this drill and make it very competitive. Wow, that was insanely fast, insanely fast.